All right, here with Junior Ryan Logan, uh, 36 points, 11 rebounds, second straight double W for you. I mean, I probably don't have to tell you this, a uh, quiet February for you by your yeah. standards and how huge for you tonight to come out tonight. Yeah, it's definitely big, especially uh, any 10 tournament starting, you know, the hopefully March Madness. And uh, just had a little, a little slump there, you know, just kind of got to shoot yourself out and just play hard. And if, if you're not going now, just get uh, teammates going. What's it like to be involved in a game like this? Down early, come back, up in the second half, they come back, and it really is a seesaw game back and forth. It's awesome. I mean, it's what we remember for the rest of our lives, really. It's just, especially uh, early in the N10 playoffs, but it ever, everyone's team's really good, and you just got to grind through every win. Uh, what was the mentality of the team there in the overtime? You're down four or five, and you want know, a minute and a half to play, knowing you got to. Now's the time to make it happen. Yeah, you just gotta grind through. You know, we knew it. Um, the boy was really hot. He was just he was ready. He was flying through shots, and making everything. You just gotta grind through it. So every time down, I say, get to stop, get to stop, keep pushing away. Uh, last possession, um, ball moves around, ends up in your hands. Let's talk about that, the, the shot. Oh, they were uh, they were they were hedging hard on Carter on the ball screen uh, all game, and so he, he drove middle, and I knew it was, I was gonna pop. He wide open, he found me. It was a really good pass. Uh, named the first team all conference this week. Just talk about that for yourself, and I mean. I, I know you guys are all a team, but yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, I always want to strive to do the best I can, and this is awesome that my teammates are there to help me all the way. I hope you guys have the win tonight, and uh, good luck Wednesday. Appreciate it. it be. All right, here with head coach Chris Krause. Uh, I guess wild 103, 101 <laughs> overtime win uh, over Adelphi to open uh, the N10 <laughs> tournament. Um, I guess just I don't know how you really sum it up. There's a lot, a lot of ways to go. Yeah, with this game. I mean, just a. Uh, a phenomenal basketball game. Um, I mean, all, all the credit to to those guys for uh, just a, a game. I mean, our guys are so proud of the effort that we had across the board from from our whole group. And we we talked about playing for 40 minutes, and we had to do it 45 minutes tonight. But uh, just both groups absolutely left everything on the floor. And as a coach, that's that's what you want. That's what you you build towards. Just getting your guys to buy in and believe in each and every single possession. And uh, it certainly had to be that tonight. Um, playoff win. I mean, that's uh, just so proud and a huge, huge win um, on the road. You know. Uh, in the playoffs, and uh, we just had a really tough group. Um, they certainly set the tone early. I think their first six baskets were three pointers. Yep. And um, I mean, you guys combined for 32 for the game. <laughs> so, I mean, just talk about you guys, you know, weathering that early storm, and then you guys to get it to even at halftime. Had yeah, you know, I, I think we they they got going early, um, a number of early threes that. Uh, but our, our kids just didn't back down. They didn't go away. Uh, we we've been talking. I mean, we've got a group that can score the basketball offensively, but it's been our defensive standpoint, our defensive ability that's put us in games, that's allowed us to win games, and that certainly did the job here tonight. And uh, when they got up early. Our our defense allowed us to bring the game back and obviously tie it at halftime there. Um, but yeah, I think it's just been our, our ability to defend and, and be as tough as we were defensively that allows us to go offensively. You, you took the lead in the second half, but then you know they made the run at you late to, to, to send it to overtime. Just you know. Just a matter of just kind of, again, weather in that storm. Yeah, and you know what, I, I got to give a lot of credit to their point guard, Anthony LaBroya, who hit 42 tonight. Um, and it was just a senior that was doing everything possible for his group and for his team. And uh, he just, he had a one heck of a game. Um, and they just, you know, like he just carried that group and wouldn't let them go away. Even I think we were up 9, 11 at some point down the stretch um, towards the tail end of the game. And then ended up sending it to overtime. And then they got up on us, and we just had a group that said, you know what, you're not going to beat us. And our group just dug in. Uh, we got the ball moving offensively. It allowed us to play back inside the Ryan. And uh, we went, I think it was 18 or 19 for 20 from the foul line, you know, shooting uh, 90% from the line, which I think is the number. Um, in a big playoff game, that's what you need, you know, to knock down your free throws. And we did that late. Uh, a game like this, no question of scoring. I was going to the stories. We had three with 20 plus, and obviously Ryan. You know, kind of a quiet February for him, but you know he certainly picked up tonight. Yeah, and points. you know what? I mean, 36 for Ryan tonight, and uh, it, it was good to see the ball go back in for him. Um, he had missed some good looks over the last couple of weeks, uh, but it, when when you needed him most, he was there for us tonight, and uh, he led us. But it was the group, you know. We just talked about it in the locker room. Um, this isn't a me mentality of a team. This is a we group, and we talk everything as we. Uh, we're a family, and uh, the guys played for each other, left it all on the floor for each other, and uh, won it for each other. Take us through the possession where he had the three. Um... You know, what, you know, he obviously open for the three, but yeah. um, you know, the ball moving and everything else. Right, and I think we, uh, I think there was about 24, 25 seconds left um, on the clock when we got the ball and uh, looked to just push it. We were down two at the point, 
or two or one or two, um, Down two. where we were. And we, we just ran a quick ball screen for Carter and Ryan. And Carter got into the middle, drew Ryan's man, and made a great pass back to Ryan for, for a monster three. Um, to knock that down, I mean, it, as great of a play and a pass that Carter made, you know, it was a, a big shot. Um, but the big thing is that we were able to get a stop on the, on the previous possession that allowed us to do that offensively. Um. The other supporting guys uh, with with over 20s, uh, Pierce with 27, and Isaiah Best, another big game for him, really stepping into that starting yeah, role. Yeah, you know, and they just they just left everything out there and just could be proud of those guys for just just competing, you know, and playing for 45 minutes tonight, uh, scrapping and clawing on the floor. Isaiah got a huge, huge loose ball um, off a pick where he picked the kid um, at half court and was able to track that ball down, dove on it, and got us a possession, you know, and it was just, it was a team doing everything they could tonight, and that's what it took. We don't know who we're going to play Wednesday night, but obviously another opportunity Wednesday night, either Bentley or Franklin Pierce, yep. uh, I guess that's just what it is, another opportunity. Yeah, you know, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be another tough one just like tonight. Um, no easy nights in this league, and uh, we're excited to, to continue to continue to move on. All right, congratulations to the win, and good luck on Wednesday. Thank you.